Here's the field, number one, Foolish Barron. Mark Saparito will drive. Two is B.J. Sweeney and Dave McGee. Number three, L's Budget, Jerry Grevengut. Number four, Z.B., number one, Tom and Skull. Five is Narden's turn, Dan Knox. Number six is K's Overtime and Daryl Bussey. Seven is Wellwood Nero, Jim Curran. Number eight is Willie. Stan Banks will drive. That's the field. Eight minutes. Second race, Perfecta wagering on the race. I went with the five, Narden's turn. Beat a similar field a couple days ago from the rail. Moves outside a little bit, but he comes from a winning stable, and I'm going to give him the slide edge in here. The obvious one to catch is the two, B.J. Sweeney. Good-looking three-year-old, comes from a winning stable as well, making his first start of the year. His qualifier was impressive. He's in good hands. I'd give him some serious thought. But again, we're going to go with the five, Narden's turn, but give some thought to the two, B.J. Sweeney. Here they come. Willie coming right for the lead. Narden's turn as they race for the first turn. And on the outside, Willie now powers into command. It's Foolish Baron in second by two lengths. Narden's turn now drops in third, two lengths. B.J. Sweeney, fourth now by two lengths, followed by L's Budget. It's E.B. Numero, it's K's over time. And trailing the field, that's Wellwood Nero. Approaching the quarter and Willie has the lead on the reel by two lengths. It's Foolish Baron, second, three lengths, and Narden's turn. 29 seconds flat, the quarter, Willie maintains a two-length lead. It's Foolish Baron, in second, now by three lengths, Narden's turn. B.J. Sweeney, a little on the inside, it's Al's budget, E.B. Namero, a gap. Two Ks over time and trailing the field. It's Well Ward Nero, approaching the half-mile marker. Willie has the lead here. Comes Narden's turn, surging third, now second on the outside with a rush. Narden's turn with a rush, now to take command. 59 and 3, into the clubhouse turn, Narden's turn. He's on the outside on the inside of horses. It's Willie trying to come back. Foolish Baron B.J. Sweeney. Now they come into the black scratch, and Narden's turn has the lead now off stride, and that turn was B.J. Sweeney. They come into the black stretch. Narden's turn has the lead now by three lengths. It's Woolly in second. It's Foolish Baron ranging up now in third. A huge gap to A.B. Namero. They're moving by the three-quarter bell mark. Three quarters, 128 and one. Around the final turn. And Narden's turn has the lead. On the outside, it's Foolish Baron and Woolly. Here they come turning for home. And Narden's turn is under urging Foolish Baron and Woolly. Down the stretch, it's Narden's turn with the lead and Foolish Baron. It's Narden's turn all alone at the wire. Foolish Baron is second. In the second, number five, Narden's turn was first. Number one, Foolish Baron was second. A photograph for third. Returning to the winner's circle, number five, Narden's turn. Narden's turn is owned by the CVP stables of Calumet City, Illinois, trained by Ed Haldeman and driven by Dan Knox. 159-2 is a mark for Narden's turn. The second race, the Our Lady of Victory, Parish Club first. In the photo, number six, K's overtime was third, number eight, Willie, finish four.
This is also official 159 and two thefts. And tonight's daily double six five returns nine dollars eighty cents. Nine eighty.